So next one we have uh, this parabolic dish or stilling uh, engine system. So here we can see that uh, one more diagram which I was talking about, which which includes your condenser here. So just I will explain that and, and I'll come back to this diagram first. So here uh, the solar dish, uh, it the major part of this in system is there are three parts. We can say one is your uh, radiation collection from the solar dish concentrators and we have a power conversion unit which can convert a power uh, individually or collectively if there are more number of panels are there so simultaneously it can happen that is a one power conversion unit and tracking system whether uh, to a double axis or single axis tracking system based on your computer where it can track simultaneously so these are the three main parts of this system so let us go in detail here so in a solar dish concentrator, uh, we make use of usually parabolic dish system to generate electricity and uh, to convert a power in a central converter power uh, system. So where uh, once again the same thing, uh, the repetition of the process from a flat plate collector to the concentrating collector, where we will be having a pipes where we can uh, pass a fluid or air so that the heated air or heated fluid can be made use for a for the uh, thing and uh, this pipe will be coated with a uh, observer or uh, observer coating or insulation coating so that I can avoid a thermal losses and I can obtain a maximum efficiency from the solar dish concentrator. The second uh, part that is your uh, power conversion system so which includes a thermal receiver and a heat engine obviously we have a thermal receiver we have a heat engine where we can exchange the heat from your water to a steam or from air if you have a hot air once again hot air can be converted to the steam so these are the two main parts in a power conversion apart from that this thermal receiver observer and the concentrator beam of the solar which converts heat and transfer the heat to the heat engine so as seen in the previous diagram also and the videos also how the heat will be transferred so here usually uh, this thermal receiver can be a bank of tubes not only individual it will be having a banks of tube with a uh, cooling uh, fluid circulating through it so not only i need to extract the heat from that i need to have some cooling tower also because uh, once you extract the steam the water should be water or air should be once again cooled and it should be sent back so for that reason we have a cooling uh, system also and the heat transfer uh, medium will be employed through a working fluid usually and it will be connected to your uh, generator which will couple to my steam turbine and finally the last one that is your tracking system as i mentioned your parabolic dish system uses a computer to track sun and concentrate the sun rays onto the receiver located at a focal point in the front of the dish because we are using a parabolic dish here so basically it's a focal point it's not a focal line it's a focal point here in some systems this heat engine uh, such as stirling engine it is linked to the receiver to the to gener uh, generate electricity sometime or sometime we make use of this water or air for a space heating or for any other application so where we can obtain uh, the temperature of 1000 degrees celsius once again here which has the highest efficiency of conversion solar energy to the electricity energy so efficiency is higher in terms of conversion of your solar to the electricity energy and uh, coming to the working part uh, with help of this diagram once again you can see we have a solar collector it is a parabolic solar collector where the solar radiation will fall and this fluid will be passing through the solar panel it's a line focal so where you can see that the solar steam will go to the superheater and the superheater will produce a steam and that steam will be transferred to my your uh, turbine you can see your turbine is coupled to my electrical generator and uh, so the once it has been generated the steam will be sent to the condenser where condens condenser is connected to my cooling tower where we pass a cool water or cool air so that the condenser can be converted once again back to my water so then the water is fed back once again to the your steam generator will go back to my solar collector this is how the rotation will take place usually we say it's a closed loop uh, system 
So where entire whatever the thing you are going to generate, it will come back once again, it will flow into the system. So this is how the working will be done, almost as similar to the previous working, wherever I said, wherever you see thermal system, the working principle of the second part will remain same, only the first part, how I am collecting, how I am generating the heat over there, so that part may vary, the second part will remain same almost all. So we are already have seen that uh, it is will be concentrated with a mirror which is called as a heliostat and which has a two axis uh, tracking system so that we can track a maximum energy from the solar radiation. And uh, obviously it is a uh, low cost solution uh, where the installation and uh, other maintenance will be very less compared to few more things. And uh, one drawback in this is uh, it uh, produces a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius, which is actually less compared to a previous one. That is your parabolic, parabolic dish system. Yeah, where we obtain 1500 there, here I am obtaining just a 1000 degrees Celsius. And the space which I am using for this uh, to create a that solar panels you have observed in the video. So it will be huge area will be required. Whereas that one, it required less area and it can generate more power. That is the only one drawback compared to the parabolic type. And using this, uh, how this electricity will be generated, I think you have seen in that video also um, with respect to. So this was a one more type of uh, collector here. That is a parabolic dish system. So here it appears to be like your uh, satellite dish, similar to the satellite dish, which is shown in the figure. Here, uh, in this type of collector, the mirror-like reflectors are used uh, within the dish, mirror -like reflectors, and an observer at a focal point. In the previous cases, we have seen that uh, linear focus also there and the focal point was also there. In this case, once again, we are using at a focal point, the meaning here is I am trying to concentrate all the solar rays at one point, that is where the receiver is uh, shown, okay. So in uh, here, it uses a two axis uh, tracking system, we have a tracking mechanism below that uh, dish, you can observe that, so two axis uh, tracking system. So what is the reason of two axis here, uh, because uh, it concentrates solar energy onto the receiver located at a focal point of the dish to do that throughout a day I try to concentrate the radiation which is going to fall on my dish and the dish structure is made such a way that uh, it can track uh, fully uh, the sun from morning to till evening uh, through a beam in the thermal receiver. So with the help of this two-way tracking system throughout the day I can track and all the rays which is falling on the uh, your dish which can be concentrated at a receiver focal point. So here uh, the receiver observer uh, which will gonna observe the solar radiation which converts thermal energy into a circulating fluid. So wherever we get a thermal energy, if you pass any fluid there, so we can convert into the thermal energy, converting into steam or making use of water, uh, heat water directly. So this thermal energy can be either uh, converted into, as I mentioned, electrical energy also. I can make use for generation of electricity using your uh, uh, steam turbine coupled to a generator that can be done. And also we can uh, transport uh, this hot water through the pipes to a central power converter station also. I can have a direct uh, thermal uh, uh, turbine over directly near to the uh, your parabola dish or I can correct uh, together, if we have more number of dishes, I can transport all this water through the pipes to a center converter system where we can convert to a electrical energy or thermal energy. So this uh, parabolic dish system can achieve a temperature of 1500 degrees Celsius. So it achieves very high degrees Celsius uh, because the receiver are uh, distributed throughout the collector field. So, so whatever the, uh, the rays will be distributed. So not even single ray can uh, uh, go useless so that they made such a way that whatever the rays fall on the entire uh, dish, all the rays will concentrate on the receiver because of that reason, it has very high concentration ratio here. The CC ratio is also very high. Uh, in this system, uh, it has few advantage also uh, compared to the previous uh, the 
type of collector which you already seen in the concentrated collector it is more efficient uh, because it always uh, points the solar radiation by two uh, access uh, tracking mechanism that is the one advantage the second one uh, as i mentioned the cc ratio is uh, from 500 to 2000 cc ratio that is a concentration ratio and uh, highly efficient at thermal energy observation and power cons conversion system so if you convert to thermal energy or if i'm converting to the electricity the efficiency will be higher side because the temperature which obtained from this will be 1500 degree celsius and they have a modular collectors and uh, receiver units that can either function independently or a part of a large system of a dishes so we can make use of an individual or we can throughout we can have a num more number of dishes i can control parallelly so that is also possible here 